There we go. Good morning, Facebook. This is Gary Rosignol, Cincinnati's rock and roll realtor with Remax Preferred Group. We're getting ready for an exciting segment of the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour here at the Palacious Studios of WDJO. This is Dan, my producer. Say Good hi, morning. Dan. Good morning. Chief. Without Dan, we would not be on the air. So I have an exciting show today. Everybody has a pet. Whether it's a gerbil, whether it's a parakeet, most people have dogs and cats. I have three cats at home. I had the best dog in the world. I see Jen's already on. Tammy's already on. You want to stay tuned. We're going to talk about pet walking, pet sitting. We're going to talk about pet CPR and first aid. We're going to talk everything pets. I got the, the, uh, the people in the studio who are the specialists in this area. So you want to stay tuned. Uh, we're still gearing up for this to go live on the radio. When you want to talk, just make sure you get like here and talk into the mic. About here. Same for you. Yeah. Just speak right into it. All right. Alrighty. Gary, do you have a trivia question? I do. <clears throat> we're giving away a pair of tickets to Homerama. Okay. The answer is. Well, let's see if you know. Uh, the Iron Butterfly had a huge hit in 1968. The 17-minute title song was the entire second side of the album. Name the album or the name of the song. You got it. <laughs> Anybody else guess that? No? <laughs> All right. I don't, Steve, I don't think you'll need to talk very much at first. I'm going to leave that microphone up that way. Here we go. Its views and opinions are not necessarily those of this station or its management. Good morning, and welcome to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour, starring Gary Rosignol. <laughs> They Facebook know we know them and love them. <laughs> hey, good morning, Cincinnati. I love Saturday mornings because I get to talk to you about real estate stuff and music, as well as life in greater Cincinnati and bringing you inter interesting guests. Each week is my mission, and today I have a few new friends with me. They have a very special and endearing occupation. They don't work for people, they work for our pets. Owners of Faithful Friends Canine Walkers are husband and wife Bill and Pam Fox, and with them is someone else very special. He's involved with Canines for Christ, Steve Bader, and his daughter Ella. Wave to Facebook, guys. Thank you, Facebook, for jumping on with us. We appreciate that. Before we get into our guests, I want to give you an opportunity to win a pair of tickets to Homerama, which opens today, too, by the way. Homerama is at, in Union Township, Warren County, Highlands of Heritage Hill. Now, this is worth a value of $32. So. Take this number down, 513-563-1480, 563-1480, and here's the question. The Iron Butterfly had a huge hit in 1968. The 17-minute title song was the entire second side of the album of the same name. Name the album or the song, and you get a pair of tickets to 2018 Homerama. That's a value worth $32. Again, the Iron Butterfly had a huge hit in 1968. The 17-minute title song was the entire second side of the album of the same name. Name the album or the song, and you'll get a pair of Homerama tickets sent to you within a couple of days. So there you go. Call 513-563-1480. All right. I'm just really excited about my guest this morning. I was at... Um, my favorite doctor, one of my favorite doctors, but he takes care of my feet. He's uh, the greatest pod podiatrist, is that what you Podiatrist, yeah. yes. Greatest podiatrist in yep. Westchester area. 
and um, <clears throat> his his name is Brian Ash in Westchester Westchester Podiatry and I saw this business card on his counter that said faithful friends pet walkers and sitters and I went hmm that sounds intriguing so I called and Pam called me back and we chatted on the phone, and guess what? I've got him here in my studio this morning, and I'm so happy about this. So, Bill, you're going to be the spokesperson for you and Pam. Pam, say hi. Hi. There's Pam. She's over there in the corner. <laughs> she says, I don't want to talk. <laughs> but we got Bill. Bill, my good friend now. And he is your pet's friend. So, Bill, how did you get into dog walking and pet sitting? Well, Gary, uh, I got started uh, basically working with dogs about eight years ago uh, through uh, Steve. Steve and I uh, started Canines for Christ together, and I retired from my uh, job just about a year and a half ago, and I was trying to think, what can I do uh, that would be interesting and help supplement my income? And the thought came to me, dogs. I should spend my time with dogs. And uh, so consequently, uh, as a result, our business was born. Uh, I take care of about uh, five dogs per day on, on an average. Wow. Um, some walking, some pet sitting. So it's uh, somewhat diversified. I, I enjoy the uh, the camaraderie that I have with the dogs. As well as um, uh, with their owners. I've met a lot of really wonderful people. Mm -hmm. And it's helped me to, to grow, I think, as a person. and. Uh, I get a better understanding uh, of, of how dogs really think and how they react to certain situations. So it's very rewarding for me. Now, how many people out there can say that they retire from their corporate America job and get up in the morning and get to do something fun? I mean, how much more fun can it be than to take care of other folks' pets? It is a lot of fun. It really is very rewarding. Uh, I, so many different breeds of dogs that I that I have from pit bulls to uh, down to Maltese uh, to uh, mm, toy yeah. poodles uh, you name it basically about every every breed that you could think of uh, I take care of and I really I really enjoy it mm -hmm, yeah so are there any uh, breeds of pets that you you just don't want to take care of no no I, I like all pets so it uh, I, I don't limit myself in that uh, area at all. So dogs, uh, cats? Dogs and cats primarily. Uh, I, I really don't do reptiles. <laughs> that is one area that I stay away from because I, I have a fear of snakes and uh, uh, I just, something I never thought I'd really want to get involved with. Yeah, I, I hear you on that. So pets have a personality, and, and you've got to clue in on their different personalities to connect with them. Uh, pets, uh, especially dogs, uh, they're um, uh, just like people. Uh, they have their own uh, individual personalities and uh, own uh, distinctive uh, uh, characteristics that uh, set them apart from each other. And it's, uh, that's what's most interesting to me is, uh, uh, is how each dog reacts uh, to certain situations and uh, so far it has gone very very well for me. I was looking at your uh, Facebook page and you've got a lot of pictures of different dogs and, and uh, different little sayings with them you know uh, <clears throat> dogs are family and family is forever that one just got my heart I, I just uh, that, that I, I broke down on that one I just had to use that little clue for my uh, promo. That That's definitely uh, a very, uh, very wonderful uh, saying, a very true uh, saying, and uh, I think one that every dog owner uh, can associate with or relate to. So, how long is a typical pet setting session? You said that you uh, you'll sit for you'll sit or walk uh, five or six a day. Is that five or six different places? Uh, generally, uh, we go to a lot of the public parks. Uh, I enjoy that because uh, it. Uh, presents a variety of situations with uh, you encounter a, a number of different people um, and I think it's good for the dogs it gets them out um, and gets gets them away from their own house their own yard and uh, they're just able to uh, to uh, connect better I think um, and rounds gives them a more rounded uh, lifestyle 
If you have a question for, uh, for Bill, uh, call us at 513-563-1480 and ask the question. He'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, and their phone number, if you're interested, if you want the best person in the world to watch your pet while you're going to the grocery store or you're at work for a few hours or what have you, you can call them up at 513-417-9078. It's called Faithful Friends Canine Walkers, and you can look them up on the internet, Faithful Friends Canine Walkers. They've got a beautiful Facebook page with a lot of photographs, uh, a lot of accolades from folks who just love the job that Bill does. So, um, thank you. Thanks for Do you, uh, any anybody in the room veterans by any chance? Uh, Steve and I both are. Really? What what department? I was in the Coast Guard and the Air Force. Okay, Steve. I was in the Army. Army. All right. I'd like to express my gratitude to all our troops, veterans, and first responders. These are the men and women who selflessly strive to keep our nation and city streets safe and free. If you're and uh, so if you're out and about and you see somebody in uniform, give them the thank you sign from afar. Go up and give them a great big hug. If you're in a restaurant, pick up their tab. Let them know that we recognize them. We thank them very much for their service uh, because I wouldn't want their job for anything in the world. And I thank you guys for your service as well. We've got a lot of winners this morning. We only have one pair of Homerama tickets, and that's going to go to Rick Martin. Uh, the answer was Inagata De Vida. Who could forget that song, Inagata De Vida? That was back in the late 60s. Uh, Dave Lauer will get, uh, and Emma Sergi will get a uh, $10 gift card to Starbucks, her favorite uh, coffee joint. So congratulations, folks, for listening in and for calling up. If you have a question, call us at 513-563-1480. We'll be happy to take your calls and answer your questions about uh, about pets, pet sitting, um, pet walking. Uh, do you ever have an unruly pet, Bill? Uh, not so far. I haven't really encountered one. Uh, generally speaking, uh, I get to know the dogs pretty well before I even begin to walk them. Uh, I have a good feel for their, for their personality. Uh, they get a good feel for me and it's turned out uh, to be a real good uh, combination. Uh, so many different dogs, uh, a lot of large dogs down to the small dogs. Uh, no difficulties whatsoever up to this point. Of course everyone's pet is the best pet in the world. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And that's the way it should be. I, I hope uh, all people feel that way about their pets. Yeah. I know we have uh, we have three cats at home. Uh, two of them were um, left. My daughter left and went off, moved out, and got married. And she rescued cats. Uh, my favorite is Mo, and Mo's my buddy. He's the crazy cat. And we have a little kitty that's just a 13-year-old uh, uh, ball of fuzz. And uh, Lucy. Lucy's a strange cat. She won't let anybody get near her. I imagine she was mistreated when she was young, but she hides, but she befriended Kitty, and they do. They all have different personalities, and uh, my granddaughter just loves our cats, and uh, it's just a funny thing. Of course, my daughter moved out. She has three cats, and then they just got a uh, golden retriever, and uh, Callie is, is her name, and she just uh, she's just a great dog. So everybody's pet is their favorite pet and is the best pet in the world. Don't you ever forget that. Pets are very important in our lives. We do need to go away for our first break. When we come back, we'll have a moment with Miles, and we're going to talk about pet CPR and first aid. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on WDJO 1480 and now on FM 99 and 107.9. All right, good stuff. He's good. He's good. Talking about pets, I was hoping you were going to come down here and check these guys out. Oh, hey, going back. Oh. Come on in, guys. Hey, come on in. There they are. Oh. Going back to toy. Yeah. Come on, Bo. See, we're animal friendly here. All right. I forgot to get back to all right, folks, I did not plug you into the studio feed, but we didn't have any phone calls or anything. 
but I will plug you into the studio feed. We've got a lot of people watching already. Uh, thanks for watching us. We appreciate that. Miles, you're coming up next. Uh, oh my gosh, look at all the people that are watching us. Kathy, uh, Elaine, JD, uh, Leslie, Lisa, Eric, Cheryl. My goodness, we've got tons of people watching us on Facebook. Isn't that cool? All right, I'm going to plug into the studio feed. We're just having an animal. Check out Bo and Baxter. Oh, absolutely. There they go. <laughs> there are canine. There's a lady named Jana on the phone that wants to give a testimonial. Okay. Well, we'll take Miles first. All right. I'll plug into the studio feed. Zero one. When posting on most job sites, you get candidates. I'm the sales director. I'm the sales director. I'm the sales director you're looking for. But when you post on Indeed.com, you get the candidates just right for you. I'm a sales director with an MBA, over 10 years experience, who's also fluent in Japanese. With Indeed, you can add screener questions for a less time-consuming route to your short list of qualified candidates. Arigato. Hiring's better when you've got your short list. Save time on hiring when you post a job on Indeed. Get started today at Indeed.com slash hire. Hold everything for less. The Pack Store Save event is going on now at the Home Depot, and the shelves are full of smart storage solutions. Like the Husky 4-Tier Steel Shelf Unit. Right now, a special buy at just $159. It'll hold up to 2,000 pounds. That is a ton. So don't sweat the big stuff. Organize it. The Pack Store Save event is going on now, and it's only at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Valid through August 22nd, U.S. only. At the Ohio State Fair, obligations and appointments fade back when you're getting a photo with your favorite mascot or when you're indulging in mouth-watering fair food like a deep-fried candy bar. You can even have a conversation with Smokey Bear. Plan your day, get tickets, search fair food, and more at OhioStateFair.com. Ohio State Fair, July 25th through August 5th. Oh, get on. Let's rock your house. Hey, we are rocking and rolling this morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary Rosignal, your host with Remax Preferred Group, better known as Cincinnati's Rock and Roll Realtor, and I'll explain that later. But now, the moment we have been waiting for. This is the intro music to the captain of our ship, Miles Beersford. This is a moment with Miles. Good morning, Miles. Hey, Gary. Rock and roll, my friend. Gary, tomorrow is National Ice Cream Day. As a good real estate agent, we should all know and be aware of fun facts about the areas in which we sell real estate. I want to share with everyone that may be out and about tomorrow visiting open houses that we have two of the best ice cream companies ever right here in greater Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Aglamisi's in Oakley and Montgomery and Grater's which is just about in every neighborhood. So take a break tomorrow and stop to enjoy one of life's simple pleasures. I'm looking forward to a good old-fashioned banana split. <laughs> and that's this morning's Moment with Miles. Great. Thanks, Miles. I appreciate that. And my favorite is uh, Grater's Peanut Butter Chip. <laughs> that's a good one, too, Gary. Uh, you betcha. Have a great weekend. All right. Thanks, Miles. Thanks. All right. Better is pets and ice cream. <laughs> you got the world by its tail when you have pets and ice cream. Uh, Ella, right? Yes. Yeah. What's your favorite ice cream? Um, I honestly do not know. Don't know. All right. Chocolate. Double chocolate chip at Grater's. There you go. You got to take her to Grater's yeah. tomorrow for chocolate chip. I have with me faithful friends, K9 Walkers, 513-417-9078. If you have a favorite pet and you just say, I've got to go to work for a couple hours in the afternoon or i got to go shopping or whatever and you need some help, you call Bill or Pam and they will take care of your pet just like you were there with them because they do a fantastic job. We do have Jenna on the line. Good morning, Jenna. 
Hi. Hi, did I pronounce your name correctly? Yes, you did. Very good. So you have a question or you want to say something to Bill or Pam? Yeah, actually, I'm a neighbor of Bill and Pam, and um, we've used Bill as a dog walker and also as a dog sitter. And I just wanted to say hi to Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Jana. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you doing? Is Mo up yet? Yes, he is. Good. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to say that, you know, Bill has a really special relationship with my dog. Um, I have a pit bull. He's pretty rowdy. And um, Bill just, Mo is putty in Bill's hands. Bill has tons of training tips. Um, he really, like, builds a relationship with your dog. Mo just absolutely adores him. And then out in the neighborhood, whenever Bill sees Mo, he'll stop whatever he's doing and stop to give Mo pets and a treat. He'll even sometimes leave treats on our porch for Mo, which is really adorable. <laughs> um so we just think the world of him, and most thinks the world of him as well. Oh, that's fantastic, Jenna. Thank you very much for that uh, that great comments for Bill and, and Pam and their, their services at uh, Faithful Friends. That's, uh, that, that's very special. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Yep, thank you. Thank, you, right. thank you, Jenna. Bye-bye. All right. So there you go. Uh, happy customer. That's fantastic. Um, something very special that caught my eye that's on it's on the car it says certified in pet cpr and first aid and being a realtor i am part of the realtors with heart committee at the board of realtors and our main purpose is to um, enhance the education of cpr training we try and train 300 people with cpr every year and also educate them on aed machines uh so this is a little bit different twist um the first aid and CPR for your pet. Uh, can you give us a little insight on that, Bill? Yes, I can. One of the uh, things I think is important for every dog uh, dog walker or pet sitter is uh, to take a course in uh, pet CPR and first aid. Uh, I was fortunate to be able to take this course about a year ago, and uh, it's put on by a, an organization called Pet Tech. It's a national organization that specializes in uh, such things as uh, pet first aid. And uh, I took the course out at a place called Circle Tail in Pleasant Plain, Ohio. And uh, it was a very quite interesting, quite involved, I think, uh, for uh, the pet owner uh, themselves. Uh, my best suggestion would be to establish a good working relationship with your veterinarian and for, uh, uh, for your dog's safety, I would have them show you specifically what's involved in uh, your pet CPR. It could be a dog, could be a cat, uh, but very important to have them show you and, and give you some guidelines. Also, um, uh, they can help you uh, with emergency um, uh, first aid, for example, if your dog's hit by a car. Uh, hmm. or if it steps on something, is bitten by another dog in a dog fight, uh, your vet can be a big, big help to you, and I would certainly encourage you to uh, to do that. Wow. So w what do you do in an emergency? I mean, do you call 911? <laughs> the first thing you do in an emergency is stay calm. I think uh, hmm. the, the dog or, or cat, whichever the case may be, uh, if they're injured, they're already going to be in a an agitated state. And I think the first thing for you to do is try to calm the dog down or the cat. And uh, uh, f from there, uh, try to determine exactly what is wrong with uh, uh, where the injury is at. Uh, is it possible to move the, the animal if you have to? Uh, those would be the things I would look for at first. And then you could, if it's, you're bleeding, you could apply a tourniquet. Mm -hmm. you, could, uh, you could use uh, a lot of various things in that in that area but again i would uh, encourage you to to work through your veterinarian if you have a question for bill call us at 513-563-1480 uh he is the owner of faithful friends canine walkers at, and his phone number is 513-417-9078 you still have some openings to do some pet walking and pets oh absolutely uh, uh we're, we're we're open uh 
uh, like to like to keep it at about five per day max. I think that uh, you get too many, you don't really uh, give the service that uh, the animal and the and the pet owner uh, really deserve and require. Are folks, do they go off to work and just have you stop in for a couple hours in the afternoon just to see how their pet's doing? Is that what the situation is? I have uh, a few of those, but uh, most generally it's vacations. Oh, okay. And one of the things they like about us is um, uh, rather than just have anybody watch their animal, is we are fully insured. We carry a liability uh, policy that uh, uh, would uh, take care of any uh, incident that might arise. Right. So, um, have you ever had a unruly pet that might want to just, uh, tear up the, 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 the owner's couch, leather couch? Or Fortunately, <laughs> not yet. Okay. Not yet. I know it happens. It's happened in our own home years ago. And, uh, sometimes dogs, uh, if they're left alone, um, they get lonesome and, uh, they're going to look for some action and it's generally going to be directed at your uh, house in some way, shape or form. Now pets and and I and I know this for a fact because uh, my crazy cat Mo, his main purpose is unconditional love, and whenever I come home day or night, he's sitting on the corner of the kitchen table waiting for me, and I can't walk by without stopping and petting him, and he does a little turnaround a couple of times and he puts his paws up on my chest and he's got to snuggle up against my my nose and give me a little bit of sugars, and that's the that's the situation that we do. So they have uh, a, a purpose in life is to sat is to satisfy their their owners. They do. They want to please you, and uh, they always have that unconditional love. There's only there's nothing like coming home after a hard day at work and uh, having a dog come up to you to uh, lick your hand or want to sit on your lap. The same would be true with a cat. Uh, it's it's just priceless. It really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, what, how can we assure that our pets have a purpose? Well, one of the ways that, uh, we found, uh, about eight years ago, Steve and I founded a group called canines for Christ. And we are a canine therapy organization, uh, where owners and their dogs are trained. We train them in accordance with the American Kennel Club standards, and we are both, uh, certified, um, pet evaluators through uh, AKC, as well as our organization is. And uh, the these individuals, after going through the training program, will take their animals, um, their dogs, into uh, nursing homes, schools, uh, hospitals, uh, just about anywhere where people are. And it's amazing to watch uh, how God works uh, through the unconditional love that these, these dogs bring. Now, Steve, uh, Canines for Christ, uh, that's a very intriguing title, and I didn't even realize that that, that was even around. How long has that organization been avail- been uh, with us? Oh, we've been in existence, as Bill said, about eight years. Eight uh, years. And uh, there is other Canines for Christ groups uh, in the nation. Uh, we're kind of separated by Canines for Christ, the greater Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. So if you were to look us up, on the web or on Facebook. I did. I did. Yeah. That's a, that's a great uh, website that you have there as well. Canines for Christ, uh, dot org. And you've got a lot of, a lot of segments to your website. And, uh, we'll get into some of that as soon as we come back from our next break. Um, whoops, there we go. Yeah. Okay. We do need to go away, wait for our second break. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. When we come back, we're going to have a little visit. No, we're going, I'm going to uh, tantalize you with my, re- my music trivia, <laughs> and then we're going to get into uh, a little bit more about the Canines for Christ. Uh, dog trainer and behavioral specialist, Steve Bader, will give us all that information. So you're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on WDJO 1480, now on FM 99.5 and 107.9. I've seen it all for years. Why rent when you can own with no money down? If you're looking to become a first-time homeowner in the Cincinnati or northern Kentucky areas, or heck, even if you haven't owned a home in the past three years and are now looking to buy, you may be eligible to receive up to $15,000 in homeowner's assistance towards closing costs, pre-closing expenses, 
All right, what do you folks think now? If you like us, like us on Facebook. Let me know. Uh, we've got uh, tons of people. Oh, my gosh, look at all the people watching us so far. Uh, Jill's watching. Casey's watching. Will. Uh, Tony. Robert. James. Look at this. Holy cow. Adam. Good morning, Kathy. Um, Krista. Good morning. You need to be down here to take some pictures of these folks. <laughs> uh, Krista Sills is a great photographer. If you need a photographer for some of your pets, you know, Krista Sills Photography is one of the best. So there you go. Give me a little, little uh, plug there, Krista. So anyhow, I'm going to plug you back into the studio feed. we got more good stuff coming, so don't touch that dial. Don't move away from your Facebook page. Tickets at the door or call the Jewel King store in Newport at 859-491-3461. 859-491-3461. Moonlight Gardens, Saturday night, August 4th. Call for tickets, 859-491-3461. That's 859-491-3461. Take a step back away from the hurried life you live today and relax. Take a stroll through Covered Bridge Antique Mall. For the past 25 years, they've been the go-to shop for treasure and bargain hunters from the tri-state and beyond. Beautiful antiques, jewelry, collectibles, and one-of-a-kind items. Covered Bridge Antique Mall, a truly unique shopping experience. 7508 Hamilton Avenue in the heart of historic Mount Healthy. 513-521-5739. Dimples. Dings. Dents. Dang it. Dimples. Dings. Dents. Dang it. There's just no way around it. Own a car and someday you'll need a body shop. From minor touch-ups to major mess-ups, the name you need to remember is Mount Healthy Auto Body. 521-8600. From dimples and dings to... <laughs> intensive care they'll take care of everything for you keep the name and the number handy mount healthy auto body 521-8600 ppg downtown saturday night main street franklin ohio saturday august the 11th over 800 hot rods custom classics low riders and muscle cars fill the streets the 24 7 band on stage for shows at 7 and 8 30 10 dollar car registration starts at 3 p.m come and see al capone's 1947 packard car owners have a chance to win a big toolbox sponsored by ppg ohio auto color celebrating 37 years warren county custom warren county custom.com custom with a k and the city of franklin Cloudy skies expected throughout the day today. It'll be humid with some showers and a thunderstorm, looking at a high of 76 degrees. Still cloudy for tonight with some showers and storm, low 68. Tomorrow it'll be humid with showers, still cloudy with a high of 78 in the afternoon. Clouds and sunshine Monday with a shower, thunderstorm in the afternoon, high near 80 degrees. I'm AccuWeather meteorologist Courtney Spamer on Cincinnati's Oldings Network, WDJO. Oh, we're ready to have some music trivia fun. So here's what happened on this, near this day, back in 1940. Billboard's first comprehensive record chart was published. The magazine had previously published bestseller lists submitted by individual record companies, but the new chart combined the top sellers from all major labels. The first number one song was... I'll Never Smile Again by Frank Sinatra and the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. How about that? Mm -mm. Today, in 1963, Jan and Dean started a two-week run at number one on the U.S. Singles Chart with Surf City. Sounds like and was written by the Beach Boys' Brian Wilson with the Beach Boys on backing vocals. And here's the trivia question answer in 1968, Iron Butterfly's second album, Inagata da Vida, entered the U.S. album chart for the first time. The album contained the 17-minute title track that filled the second side of the LP, which went on to sell over 4 million copies in the United States alone. And today in 1968, Jane Asher announced on national British TV show D-Time that her engagement to Paul McCartney was off. Well, Paul reportedly was watching at a friend's home and was surprised by the news. She was said to have inspired many of McCartney's songs such as 
all my loving, and I love her, and we can work it out. Well, they didn't work this one out. <laughs> Jane went on to have a career in films and television, as well as becoming a successful author and businesswoman. And today in 1973, Jim Croce started a two-week run at number one on the U.S. singles chart with Bad, Bad Leroy Brown. Unfortunately, he was killed in a plane crash just three months later. Great song. Today in 1975, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band played the opening night on their Born to Run tour at the Palace Theater, Providence, Rhode Island. This also saw the live debut of Stephen Van Zant, known as Miami Steve, as a member of the E Street Band. And today in 1999, the Rolling Stones reported a gross of, get this, $337 million from almost two years of touring from their Bridges to Babylon and no security tours. The Stones had played to over 5.6 million people, selling out all but 20 shows. And not to try and be, to overdo them, but in 2001, Madonna kicked off the North American leg of her 47 date round world tour at the first union center in philadelphia pennsylvania it was her first world tour in eight years following the girly show in 1993 over 730,000 people attended the shows throughout north america and europe and toured 75 million dollars and we want to say happy birthday to this fantastic musician Carlos Santana was born yesterday, July 20th, back in 1947. Of course, he's a Mexican and American rock guitarist. Santana had the 1977 hit single, She's Not There, and their 1999 U.S. number one single, This Song, Smooth, spent 11 weeks at number one, and he also won eight Grammy Awards for his Supernatural album at the 2000 Awards. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed these fun facts about music history for today. All right. I just love that stuff. I spend some time, and I hope you found some fun with that. We have with us Faithful Friends Pet Walker, Bill and Pam Fox. It's amazing. Your last name is Fox, and you're involved with pets. I just thought that was kind of a neat segue. But I want to bring my attention to Steve Bader, and he is very good friends with, with Bill and Pam. And uh, he is a big part of an organization called Canines for Christ. And that just catches my eye. I just uh, I love that. That's great. Yeah. So, so what is the main purpose of the organization Canines for Christ? Uh, the main purpose is to provide pet therapy, uh, as Bill said, to different, multiple facilities. Do we do the reprogram hospitals, uh, Alzheimer's, uh, just all aspects of. So of, you bring the pets into the organ, into nursing homes and whatnot, and they give the therapy to the. the to the residents okay. or people we're visiting. Wow, yes, yes, that's yes, great. Yes, yes. I've, yes. I've heard of that. Yeah, it, it's, it's really gotten popular, especially in the last five, eight years, I've noticed. Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah. So if, if someone <laughs> had a. Uh, a friend, parent, relative in a nursing home, and they might need that. Where would, how would they get in touch with you, or do they just go to the website? Yes, and that 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 would be where I would direct them. Uh, mm -hmm. All of our contact information is there. They can feel free to email email myself or call me. My number's on there. Uh, Pam, Bill, we're all on there. They can contact us, and so they can contact yeah. Bill or Pam and get in touch with you and yep. Canines for Christ. Wow, that just sounds really neat. Um, is, is it other than just nursing homes and, uh, hospitals involved? What? Yeah, we, we do, uh, we have a lot of dogs in the read program. Uh, this year we were fortunate to, uh, visit the Springer school, uh, with kids with learning disabilities. Uh, we did a read program there. Uh, we have, uh, multiple people in like St. Joseph's home, St. Joseph's orphanage, mm -hmm. you know, helping kids, uh, who have disabilities, Things like that. And Elle is your nine-year-old daughter, and she's a key yes. in training these dogs, she is, right? Yes, yes, yes. She's, she's been with me uh, as long as, uh, since she was old enough to be there. All right. Uh, she helps me in class. Yes. Yeah. Now, do you have pets yourself? Ella wants, go ahead. Yes. Yes. We, we, Tell us about your pet, Ella. 
Uh, well, we have three cats, three dogs, one turtle, two hermit crabs, one snail. What's her names? Uh, the dogs are Finn, Ferb, and Ivy. Okay. Cats, Mitten, Hoppy, Cricket, and the turtle, the turtle, wait, I just call him Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> so you got three cats, three dogs, and a turtle. Yeah. And yeah. two hermit crabs. Yeah. And two hermit crabs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a roundabout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a roundabout. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Great. Yeah. I do need to just say real quick that I'm called the Rock and Roll Realtor because I play with the greatest classic rock band, Bluestone Ivory, uh, and we are getting ready for our August 25th second annual Rock and Roll uh, Chalk Art uh hot air balloon ride festival we'll talk about that when we have ria on um also want to say for all your flower needs weddings graduations birthdays sympathies call lutz flowers at 9210561 they're celebrating 100 years this year they provide the beautiful mustang sally carnations at all bluestone ivory shows so uh stay with us and uh, uh we are now talking with steve bader and he is very uh, in tune with an organization called um, uh, Canines for Christ, and I have your website up here. Uh, they talk about Canines for Christ in Greater Cincinnati. Uh, they have volunteer information. How mm-hmm. how many people were involved in Canines for Christ in Cincinnati? Well, uh, we oh gosh, we're close to two fifty three hundred people. Wow, uh, often yeah, and. and uh, the whole volunteer, it, it, to me, it, it's hard to keep people because uh, I think as a society we kind of give, you know, we're used to giving at church every week or, mm-hmm. you know, dropping money in the, you know, the Salvation Army on your way into Kroger's. But as far as giving your time, that's, uh, tough. That, that's something that we struggle with and keeping people in facilities. We continually run classes uh, trying to keep people interested um, we also do a lot of events like we, we have, um, uh, Palooza. We have my furry Valentine coming up. Uh, we do to try to attract people to our cause. Uh, and also we keep our fees inexpensive, uh, cause we don't want to deter people in that way either. So. Yeah. You have classes now. W- what goes on during the classes? They bring their pets. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if you were interested, if you had a, you have cats, but if you, had, mm-hmm. if you had a dog or if you had a friend that had a dog, you bring your dog to us. Uh, we usually run eight-week cycles, mostly during the summer. Uh, we have one more we're going to start, I think, August 25th. Uh, you pay the one-time fee. Uh, you're welcome to come as long as you want if you're working. How much is the fee? It's $75, okay. which includes your first year's membership of okay. $50. Okay. Uh, and you, you can come, if you're working three years from now, it, you can. the price doesn't, I mean, that's that's the price. You All don't right. have to pay any more. Yeah. Um, and the, like I said, the fifty dollars covers your insurance. Uh, we are an insured group, so if something happens, and we've been lucky. Nothing is. We've not had any instances to use the insurance, but you're covered uh, in case it does. Gotcha. Uh, right. Good. And, and we, we we have a fair amount of um, people with us that pop in class once in a while that have already gone on to therapy because mm-hmm. uh, we really try to promote camaraderie within the group. Now, I've also heard, I don't know if you're associated with this, where they take um, rescue dogs and go into prisons. Yes, yes. Are you involved in that as well? No, not yet. Okay. I, I have worked with a few dogs over the years, not with this organization, that people have brought to me that came from a prison program, and they did a very good job mm-hmm. at training these dogs. It's just, you know, the people didn't know how to follow up with it. Yeah, it was, I know when we first got our, our the best dog in the world, Mandy, which was uh, about uh, 18, 19 years ago, and we had to put her down when she was just uh, 14, yeah, but uh, we took her to puppy class, and yeah. I felt like they were more training us <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to yeah. how to react and, and train our, our dogs. It wasn't so much for the dogs training, it was more of a social event for the dogs right, to get right. together with each right. other, but they were... <laughs> We were the we were the ones being trained. Yeah, and that's certainly the case. I, I visit a lot of homes. Uh, we also, if you look on our website, we have a uh, our bark program where I go into homes and assist uh, shelter animals. Who you know, if you adopt a dog, uh, it, and it's a free program. If you want to give a donation to our group, 
uh, you're welcome to do so. Otherwise, I go in and try to help the transition into the home. Uh, or if you're to the point where you're going to release your dog, a lot of times, like I've worked with Doberman Rescue, they've called me and say, hey, we've got this person that's going to release a dog. All right. We do need to go away for our last break. Don't touch that dial. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll have a little visit with Rhea Davidson. You've been listening to Steve Bader, and he is friends with Bill and Pam Fox, who have a company called Faithful Friends Canine Walkers. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on WDJO 1480, now FM 99.5 and 107.9. He got me all shoes and started losing. Renfro Valley presents the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band on July 21st. Come see them perform all their hits, including Mr. Bojangles and Fishing in the Dark. Call 1-800-765-SING. That's 1-800-765-7464. Don't miss the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band on July 21st. Still performing for 52 years. Call 1-800-765-SING. That's 1-800-765-7464. Or visit our website at RenfroValley.com. Renfro Valley, it's all about the music. A unique sound and heritage. Superb quality. Over a hundred years of tradition. What, you ask? Only the best-kept secret in motorcycling, Triumph Motorcycles. Did you know the new Triumph has over 30 models? We have sport bikes, cruisers, dual-purpose adventure bikes, and the iconic Bonneville that brings back all the classic looks, sound, and British heritage of your dreams. Come in and experience the unique ride and see the quality. Triumph of Cincinnati is offering incredible 0% APR financing, up to $1,500 in Triumph vouchers, and special free accessory packages on select models. Call us at 513-631-2000 for all the details, or stop by and see us. We're at the corner of Ridge and Highland, exit 8, just off I-71. And remember, we'll take anything in trade. We're sure we can find a Triumph motorcycle to fit your budget and lifestyle. Triumph of Cincinnati. 631-2000. Six three one two thousand. Classics for tomorrow. As an experienced and trusted electrical contractor, Cooper Electric has been serving the needs of tri-state commercial and residential customers for over 70 years. Consider Cooper Electric for all things electrical, from electrical testing and troubleshooting to electrical installations. Call Cooper Electric today for a no-cost consultation at 513-271-5000 or visit them on the web at cooper-electric.net. Cooper Electric is a proud A-plus rated member of the Cincinnati Better Business Bureau. I just saved hundreds of dollars by switching to Geico. I should have done this years ago. Disclaimer, traveling back in time is physically impossible unless you know how to build a functioning time machine. Then by all means, travel 25 years back in time, switch your car insurance to GEICO. You could save a bunch of money. While you're there, please prevent your younger self from wearing that sleeveless tuxedo t-shirt, parachute pants, and glitter high tops to your senior prom. And at long last, rectify this horrible crime against nature. GEICO is absolved of all liability if you destroy the fabric of time and space. GEICO. All right, Facebook friends, thanks for staying with us for this whole show. Good show, isn't it? If you like what you saw, like this page for me. I appreciate that. I'm going to tune, uh, plug you back into, plug you back into the studio feed. Dave Ackerman's watching. Ernie, Jason, Jill, Casey. Will, a lot more people. Tony, we probably have 150 people watching. 777-2402. Uh, get on. Let's rock the house. Hey, we have just been having a ball of fun this morning so far, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the show has just gone to the dogs. <laughs> I waited till now to say that. <laughs> but uh, this this lady I'm bringing up next is uh, she she is she she is the pet sitter for the Greater Cincinnati area. Uh, Chicago, now moving into Lexington, Louisville, Dayton, and they bring smiles to the faces of the afflicted children who are in, in uh, children's hospital with bone disease, uh, with cancer, and she makes sure that the families stay together, that the siblings are engaged, that the parents have everything that they need to see their patient, their child through whatever is afflicting them, and she distracts them from their disease by taking them and having a lot of fun. And I'll just bet you uh, pets would be a big portion of some of their therapy that they could. Uh, you, you guys need to hook up because I think that's going to be a, 
uh, a, a big um, yeah. uh, affiliation. I think you guys need to get together. This lady is my friend, Rhea Davidson. Good morning, Rhea. Good morning. Good morning. And you're so, so, so right. You know, our family uh, have kids in the hospital, and it's so hard for them to, to take care of their patients and their pets at the same time. I would love to be connected. Absolutely. Well, I will be sure that they get your number and that you will get their number, and I want you guys to get together this week. I would love that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be a great or, great uh, relationship between you two. I, I thought about that uh, as soon as I was talking to Pam a uh, day before yesterday about coming on the show. And it's, you know, it's a God thing how this happened. I had a guest lined up and they bailed on me Wednesday late afternoon. I went, hmm, you know, something's going to come into my life. And I uh, was at my favorite doctor, Dr. Ash in Westchester. And there was this business card. And, you know, it just jumped out and just went in my, my shirt pocket. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, and, and that's the way things happen with the Dragonfly Foundation. You saw a need and you filled it, and you have been filling it, and your cup is halfway full always. It, it, you know, it's, people are put in our path, just like you said. You know, it could be a tow truck driver. It could be an air conditioning repairman, a floor refinisher. Mm. It could be a psychologist. You know, um, there's so many people who want to help our families and don't necessarily know how. And so we keep track of everyone like that. Um, we have kind of a list of people that we call, and then we have a list that our families can call, um, you know, so that if someone's going to discount services um, to a family, they, they go on our discount services list. You know, if someone's going to help maybe one family at a time, they go on our list. You know, so we really do try to help these families whatever way we can. Okay, great. So we, we're about six weeks away from our big event, which is going to happen in Westchester. This is our second annual Rock and Roll Chalk Art Balloon Ride Festival, which is going to happen on August the 25th. Um, can you give us a little bit of insight what's going to happen the, starting that afternoon and leading up into the evening, Rhea? Yeah, so starting at uh, about 12.30, we're going to have chalk artists, um, and it could be companies that or individuals that want to do art, or it could be artists that we help um, assign to that square do chalk art um, throughout the day, and people can come watch that happen. And then they can also come and vote on which chalk art they like the best. And the voting will take place all day, but then... Um, the winner will be announced at 5.30. And then at 6, we have Bluestone Ivory, Gary Rosignol, um, starting to perform. And we're also doing a hot air balloon, um, tethered hot air balloon rides. And we'll have food trucks there. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll try to do some face painting. And we're still putting the event together, but I think it'll all come together. Right. The event actually to attend is free. However, we're going to have a lot of opportunities to uh, sign up to donate with the Dragonfly Foundation. We'll have a lot of opportunities to donate your, your, your money. So that and, and my goal in this whole thing is to raise $5,000 to the Dragonfly Foundation. It would be amazing. We need it. You know, Cincinnati Children's is now the number one hospital, number one pediatric cancer hospital in the country. And what do you think happens when a child is diagnosed anywhere? <laughs> go, Where am I going to get the best? treatment and that's going to be Cincinnati and we've been told to expect an influx of people and the only reason why Cincinnati's Children's Hospital is the number one pediatric children's hospital in the country and that's only happened they were number three or four until Dragonfly Foundation moved in and started supporting them and their patients well, well certainly I, I would love to think that we played a role in that but you know, Cincinnati children did all the did all the hard work. They oh, you're too humble, Rio. You're too humble. <laughs> you know, they are an amazing organization with amazing staff, and they're doing great things to help cure kids with cancer. Um, you know, they're curing and fixing kids and we're enhancing quality of life. Right. So, yeah. You know, if you want to help the, uh, if you want to help Dragonfly Foundation right now, you can go to dragonfly dot org. Or text the word WINGS15, W-I-N-G-S-1-5, to 71777, and a secure website will open up for you to donate anywhere from 5 
fifty, five hundred, five thousand dollars, whatever makes you feel good about what you're doing. So, Rhea, we'll see you later on today, and uh, I will talk to you then next Saturday. We'll be talking this week about the Balloon Fest. Uh, if you have a real estate question or you just want to know the value of your home, call me. I'm open for business. My number is 513-777-2402. I'd like to thank my friends with uh, Faithful Friends uh, Canine Walkers who came in this morning. I appreciate that, Bill, Pam, and Steve. Coming up next is Dane Donovan and the Car Tech Show. And next week I have Dan Order with First Agency. He's always a ball of fun. So, the, to end the show, born on this day or yesterday in 1946 is John Lodge. He plays bass and lead vocals with the Moody Blues. To celebrate this is a live recording of Bluestone Ivory and the Westchester Symphony's version of their hit, Nights in White Satin. Call me, Gary Rosignol, at 513-777-2402 for your real estate needs. I want to help you. Here's a big thank you to my regular major sponsors who make this show possible as well as Remax Preferred Group. A special thanks to WDJO Station Manager Gary Stevens and my producer, Dan Gettlefinger. Also a big thank Hope you enjoyed the show, folks. I'm going to sign off now because i got to get out of here and make way for Dane Donovan and the Car Tech Show. So stay tuned. Until next week.